Hi viewers, welcome to Think Electronic Circuits and in today's video, we will be discussing how to program STM32 so that it can drive VLDC motor. We had already discussed how to interface VLDC motor with STM32, visit given link to see that video. So this is the interface of the controller which we are using STM32 F4103. You can use any other controller but the code can differ little bit for that according to the reference manual of that controller so some of the important pins you need to set are GPIO external interrupt pin for RPM sensor ADC1 IN0 PA0 pin for potentiometer and timer 1 channel 1 that is PA8 pin for generation of PWM timer 1 we are using for generating PWM through PA8 pin and it is driving the motor timer 5 we are using with external interrupt 0 to calculate RPM of motor. Set the frequency of STM32 to 50 MHz. Although we can set it to 100 MHz, but we, for sake of ease in calculation, we are using 50 MHz frequency. Now go to project manager, name the project and select IDE as skill and click on generate code. In while this is the code generated for that project in which we are driving the BLDC motor and here is the code in while loop this is command for starting the ADC and after giving it 100 millisecond delay we are getting the value from potentiometer and collecting it into X variable and then we are using map function to map those values and give those values to CCR1 register. CCR1 register is responsible for creating a duty cycle from STM32 PAWM pins. Now let us see arming the motor steps. These steps are called RP, uh, arming the motor. These steps are called arming the motors or calibrating the motor. Without this your motor will not start moving first you give a duty cycle of big value followed by a small value we are using register level code to generate PWM and also to set the timer 1 channel 1 for P8 pin first go to GPIO code and set P8 pin let us see where is the GPIO code this is the GPIO code in our project. We have set the P8 pin in alternate function mode. Now we will go to timer 1 channel 1 code which we have generated. You need to comment out all the, all the code generated but let the body of uh, that timer one as uncommented and we will uh, add our own code which is at register level in this function so i have commented all the other code generated by the steam qmx and now i have added my own code here you have also to do the same so in initialization of timer one first set the P scaler then ARR you have set it to a so that it can generate a 50 Hertz frequency you have to give exactly 50 Hertz frequency for that you have to give these values without it the motor will not work then select PWM mode 1 using OXM bits and then we have the CCER bits called CCI1E and CCIP bits which have to be set then we have to set MOE enable and OSSI enable in the BDTR register then we have to set the UG bit in the EGR register and now we will be knowing how we can calculate the RPM of the motor to calculate the RPM of the motor 
we have we are using external interrupt zero RQ handler and timer five RQ handler. So the encoder wheel is fixed on a soft shaft of the motor, as you must have seen while the video starts. Encoder wheel is black in color and have white spaces between it. RPM sensor have one IR transmitter at one end of the encoder wheel and at other end is receiver. So when space is in front of transmitter, it lets pass IR signal pass through it and it is received at the STM32 external interrupt pin and result in interrupt rising triggered. So in external interrupt, the count variable increases by one. In timer 5 interrupt routine, we are calculating RPM of the motor using count variable after each 200 milliseconds. RPM is calculated. The 20 factor is number of white spaces in encoder wheel and after measuring RPM we reset counter value count value to zero and at and this step is repeated again and again you can display this RPM value on all LCD also by adding your own code in the project so we are initializing we are running the timer 5 and timer 1 by using these statements which you can see this is we are running the timer 5 and timer 1 is run here as you can see for timer 1 running we are using register level code here here we are running the timer 1 so this was all for this video if you like this video share this video and like it thank you and have a nice day